Hello again. So, I'm back today to do a video that nobody requested. Well, not really. Um, I just kind of felt like doing it. Um, I, it's kind of going to be similar to the TMI tag. Um, uh, basically just answering a bunch of questions that someone on the internet came up with. Um, to get to know me better. Um, it's not going to be the TMI tag because I don't like the questions in that. It's going to be very similar. Like, there are definitely some questions on here um, that are similar, but it's something this person called it Get to Know Me Uncomfortably Well. So, there are a hundred questions on this list. I think that's a bit excessive for one video, but I can do all hundred, the next fifty another. I figured I'd just do fifty or however many I feel like doing. If you like this kind of video that isn't so like formal and makeup-y and stuff, cool. If you don't, then let me know and I'll never do them again. Or I will, because I felt like it. So, yeah, we'll just get on started. So, like I said, I'm going to be doing the first 50 questions on here. Alright, so, get to know me uncomfortably well. Let's do this. Alright, what is your middle name? My middle name is Olivia. How old are you? I'm 19 and a half-ish. When is your birthday? September 8th. What is your zodiac sign? Virgo. The best. What is your favorite color? Black. I love it so much. Black and, and then red, but black, absolutely. What is your lucky number? 19. Um, it's actually a kind of embarrassing story of why it's my favorite number. When I was younger, I liked the Twilight books, and 19 is the age that Belle became a vampire. So, deal with it. <laughs> but, yeah, even before then, I liked the number. I like um, odd numbers and prime numbers. They're just cool. So, yeah, 19. Do you have any pets? Yes. I personally have three beautiful rats. Their names are Hershey, Frappuccino, and Toffee. They are all sleeping right now, otherwise I would introduce them to you. I love them so much. They are completely adorable. Um, they're very intelligent, can be very, very sweet and loving. They're very low maintenance. They're really, really easy pets. The tail isn't that bad. It actually has like peach fuzz on it, so it's not fully bald. So, yes, I have rats. Where are you from? Wisconsin. I've lived in Wisconsin my whole life. How tall are you? I am 5'5 five five and sometimes a half. What shoe size are you? I am a size 8 to 8 and a half. How many, pair, how many pairs of shoes do you own? Um. I've bought shoes and I've gotten rid of shoes since I last counted, but when I last counted, it was 60-something. I can do a shoe collection, if you like. I think that'd be fun. I think somebody, I think my cousin suggested that. But yeah, I can definitely do that. I would love to do that. Be good for all those people with foot fetishes out there. Alright, what was your last dream about? Holy, what did I last dream about? Last one that I remember was me helping my sister and her friend move. Completely random, but yeah. We were like on like a road trip helping them move to Chicago, so. There you go. I don't have the best, most vivid dreams. I can sometimes lucid dream. Like I can like be like functional during the dream. It's kind of scary, but cool. All right, what talents do I have? Um, I played the piano. I took piano lessons for 11 years, I think. Um, special talents. I don't really have a ton. Like a lot of what I can do, I feel like a lot of people can. Um, I'm a semi-good 
actor. I did acting when I was in co when I was in high school. Um, yeah, I don't really have any special talents. <laughs> Next up, are you psychic in any way? No, I don't believe in that. Favorite song? It is tied between Jet by Paul McCartney and Year Zero by a ghost. No, I did not plan that, but that just ended up being awesome. That's their symbol for ghost. And then an honorable mention would be Living Dead Girl by Rob Zombie. But Jet and Year Zero are definitely top two. I can't pick between them. I'm gonna walk down the aisle to one of those. Favorite movie? Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Don't judge me. I'm not ashamed of this. Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. That is the third installment in the best franchise in the world. It just captures everything that I look for in a movie. Alright, who would be your ideal partner? Um... I gotta go with Tobias Forge. He's the lead singer of Ghost. Yeah. Yeah, Tobias Forge or um, Andy Biersick, the lead singer of Black Veil Brides. I like musicians. Next, do you want children? Absolutely not. No way. No way. I never have and I never will. Do you want a church wedding? No. I want to get married like in the woods. Or, like, somewhere outside. I think outside would be nice. Are you religious? <laughs> I am an atheistic Satanist. And what does that mean, you ask? Well, it means that I do not believe in the actual devil. I don't believe in Satan and God and that whole idea. I believe in the ideals and values of Satan. So putting yourself above others, not depriving yourself of things that you enjoy because some book that was written, how, I don't even know how long ago, says that you shouldn't. Um, if you are looking into this or want to learn more, you can go to the Church of Satan's website, not the Satanic Temple, that's different, that is theistic Satanism. Or they actually believe in the devil. Church of Satan has a incredible website that has a lot of Q&As or you can buy the Satanic Bible off Amazon for like seven dollars. I have it. It's great. Highly recommend. All right. Have you ever been to the hospital? Yes. Many, many times. I don't know what else it wants. You should be more specific. Like, have you been to the hospital for like a Horrible injury if you've been there for a checkup. Like, I think everyone should have been to the hospital. I mean, a lot of people start their life there. So, have you ever gotten trouble? Gotten in trouble with law? I accidentally rear-ended someone once. But that's about it. I don't know if that counts as trouble with the law. Have you ever met any celebrities? Yes, I met Tobias Forge, the lead singer of Ghost. Oh, he was incredible. He was um, dressed in, in character as Cardinal Copia. It was the best day of my life. Him and I meeting is my wallpaper. That's us. Hmm. So dreamy. All right. Baths or showers? Showers. I can't remember the last time I took a bath. What color socks are you wearing? Funny you should ask. Um, I always wear mit mismatched socks. Just part of my quirkiness. Um, so right now, one of my socks has ACDC written all over it. And my other one is a velociraptor that is captioned Clever Girl from Jurassic Park. But yeah, sometimes I pick out the combinations. This one I didn't, they're just at the top of my sock pile. 
Have you ever been famous? No. My first YouTube video has over 100 views, I think. It's about as famous as I've gotten. Would you like to be a big celebrity? I wouldn't mind it. I, I would like that, but I'm not like dying to. You know, I think, I think it'd be cool for people to know who I am. Um, what type of music do you like? Rock, metal. I'm not into like certain genres of those. Like, I don't really like screamo. I like to hear what people are saying. Um, but yeah, rock and metal for sure. That's pretty much all I listen to. Have you ever been skinny dipping? Not fully. How many pillows do you sleep with? I sleep with two normal ones and a body pillow. What position do you usually sleep in? Um, I kind of change it up any which way. I don't have like a set position that I have to sleep in. I'd say that mostly it's me like curled up and hugging my body pillow though. That's what it is most of the time. How big is your house? I don't live in a house, I live in an apartment. It's, it, it's, it's a decent size, it's not tiny. It's, it's pretty big. Um, but yeah, I don't know square footage or anything like that. What do you typically have for breakfast? To be honest, I have toast a lot of the time, which is kind of sad. Toast and coffee. Have you ever fired a gun? I've fired a BB gun and a Nerf gun. Uh, never a real one, though. Have you ever tried archery? Yes, I actually took archery lessons for a couple years. I have not done it in a very long time, but I probably could still do it. Favorite clean word? It's like not a swear word. I don't really know. At least not in English. I'd say my favorite word in general is German. It's Badehosen. It means swimming bottoms. It's just fun to say. But yeah, that's the only thing that's coming to mind right now. I probably have other words that I like, but favorite swear word. Shit or fuck. Either one. I use them pretty interchangeably. What's the longest you ever you have ever gone without sleep? Like no sleep period? Like a, a day and a bit? Like 30 hours or something like that? Um, I've gone like weeks without sleeping any like during the night and just like a nap or two in the day. Um, but like without anything. Yeah, just a little over a day I'd say. Um, do you have any scars? I have like a thousand scars. I have so many. And I love almost all of them. I don't like the ones on my face. But like, here down, I want as many scars as possible. I don't have any like, cool or big ones that I can show you. My favorite is on my elbow. He's right there. I named him Lumpy. Got it from falling off a scooter. <laughs> like, none of my scars are very big or cool. I just like him. I do like big scars on other people. But, yeah. Have you ever had a secret admirer? No. Are you a good liar? Depends on what I'm lying about and especially who I'm lying to. There's certain people who I can lie very, very easily to and some people who just immediately are like, you're lying, shut up. So, you know. Are you a good judge of character? Not really. Okay, we're almost done. Um, seven more questions. Can you do any other accents other than your own? Yes, I can do Southern, New York, German, New Zealand, Australian, British, Irish, Scottish, Russian, maybe something else. Yeah, those are the ones that have come into my head. Um, do you have a strong accent? I've been told that I have a kind of strong Wisconsin accent. Um, I don't consider myself having an accent, but yeah, I've been told by people who like are not from Wisconsin that sometimes they can't understand what I'm saying or that I just pronounce things weird, like big. What is your favorite accent? 
like on other people. I don't know. I find a lot of accents like kind of annoying. Southern accents are kind of cute if they're not too intense. What is your personality type? I don't know like on what standards or whatever. I don't know what they mean by this. Tell me what like test to take and they'll tell you. I don't know. What is your most expensive piece of clothing? Um, I have a pair of boots that cost $140. They're big chunky goth boots. They're incredible. Um, but yeah, most of my clothing is very cheap. I say that my two most expensive items of clothing are boots. One's like 115 those boots are 140 I think that's... Yeah, I think that's it. Can you curl your tongue? Yes. And then, the last one for now is, are you left or right-handed? I'm right-handed. Those are all 50 questions. Oh, those went pretty quickly, I actually think. I thought it'd take me, like, a really long time, but at least to me, it was pretty quick. So yeah, I'd love to continue with this. It's fun. Um, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's not, like, anything useful. Just random stuff about me, but it was fun. These are the kinds of videos that I like to watch on YouTube right now. Um, makes, like, these big YouTubers seem more human. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below, or just like the video, whichever you feel like. Um, if you want me to continue with the next 50, because these ones get a little more intense. I have a whole list on my phone of everything that you guys commented on my last video. Keep the requests coming if you think of anything else. I think that's it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video even though it was kind of weird. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something about me. Just not too much. Um, yeah, let me know what you want to see from the next video or anything else. Like or subscribe if you feel like I'm someone you think is kind of cool. I think I'm pretty cool. I don't think I'm the worst person in the world. So, yeah. I think that is all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.